Hello and welcome to BK Live. I'm Aaron Watkins. And I'm Brian Vines. Thank you for joining us on this chilly Wednesday. Chilly, cold <laughs> Wednesday, hump day. Uh, they did put out a weather advisory today. Right. You know, everybody, um, please make sure to stay hydrated and call 311 if you need a cooling station. It is expected to reach 97 degrees today. The last time we did this, I seem to remember there was another heat wave, <laughs> so they might want to break us up for a minute, at least until uh, it passes. But we will be back in October, November, sitting it's, at the it's desk It's the together. dog days of summer. This is only... Uh, 95 degrees currently, but yeah. only Mad Dogs, Englishmen, and BK Live hosts go out in the noonday sun. So. Well, you know, we we are naked under these suits, <laughs> just for cooling sake. Amen to that. But uh, we know we uh, are keeping it cool today. Like Aaron said, there are the cooling centers called 311. Check in on your neighbors yes, and your please. pets and all that jazz, because that's the temperature, but the feels like index is a lot higher with all that humidity. Oh, well, he said it's going to feel like it's over 100 Madness. degrees today. Okay. This is definitely going to feel that way. Well, so. uh, we got lots of stuff to get into today, but this is something that has risen to the level of distraction. This dentist from Minnesota, you have the paper there. I do have the, the dentist paper. dentist from you Minnesota can... who killed the symbol of Wange National Park in Zimbabwe. I happen to have done my study abroad year in Zimbabwe, so I feel a strong connection to the people there. And I know it's not the most important thing in the world, especially when we're talking about what's right next to it, a woman dying in police in, custody with again. Sandra Bland and all the investigations, rightfully so, going on. But we should never let injustice happen, right? Well, Whether you know, it's for animals or with or people. people. Or especially with, with, with people. Yeah. But, you know, it just speaks to the, the gun culture of, of our country. You know, he, oh, he's a, a United States citizen and yeah. he travels around the world big game hunting in 2015. So, Well, he's a lying piece of crap. God Lion, bless America. Lion, according Lion. to Lion. the Daily News. <laughs> clever, clever. Uh, exciting show today. Yeah, and you know, one other thing, too, is something that's uh, very serious. Yes. Sex trafficking. Very serious. So at Brick, we, of course, we're a community so media, awesome. and we work with lots of uh, organizations. We're blessed to be in the position where we have something that can help them out. Media training that we offer classes, and there's a media share program here and we help organizations get their word out and promote awareness, and I think we scored one here, Aaron. I think we scored a big win today. As of, t as of yesterday, there right. were 170,000 views for the sex trafficking, sex trafficking video, and especially here in New York City, where yeah. we're the big hotel industry, you know, awareness on all levels. Yeah. Um, you know, they say a, a pound of prevention is an ounce, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Yeah, so, so take a look at this video that was produced uh, with the Brick Media Share program in this organization. I've been in a bunch of hotels. Nice, not so nice. I've seen them all. The worst is when my pimp books a room for the day and I gotta work all kinds of men, one after another. Last week on our way, the new girl I work with asked me how old I was. 17, I said. I lied. I'm really 13. On our way out of the hotel, the guy at the front desk looked at me. We looked at each other. I feel like he knew something was wrong or off or whatever but he looked away. They always look away. It's weird because there must be something they can do. Right? Awful, powerful piece right there. Yeah, it's not just in the hotel industry either. You know, Brooklyn is not immune to the evils of sex trafficking. Yeah. Pat, good job. Thank you so much.